Hello there, I am Giant Goth Mount Earthbound, and in the last part we continued the Stonehenge base. And, uh, we we're also trying to find a Sword of Kings for, um, Pooh. I'm gonna talk to the mom for the next mice. Yeah, please, please take my son along. He may not look like, he may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take my sons along? Of course, yes. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. That's cool, I guess. Paul got the next mouse. Like, cool. So yeah, that's really good. If you're out of PP and like low on HP and you don't have like any PS like almost to restore your PP or anything, and you're but like uh, your life, your health is at like, critical for your party, you can just use the next mice and then um exit mouse and then I'll take you to the front of the dungeon where you can like go back and heal and stuff, which is really nice. But you have to, but the thing is you have to make you have to um you have to come all the way back though, because this is a required part of the game. We have to just um just uh. Come back to it because you have to go through the press, go through this area pressing to, to progress in the game. There we go. Now, um, the sort of king, oh, that kind of cool, that kind of that was a back attack, nice on well, them. So, yeah, I'm gonna take out the Starman Super first, but um, there's a one less than one percent chance you can uh, catch this, uh, get this dropped item from the Starman Super. It's called the Sword of Kings, it's the ultimate weapon for Pooh. I very, uh, I very recommend you get it for Pooh, honestly, because it's really helpful and powerful. But uh, it has like a one in one twenty eighth chance of uh, getting a drop, dropping it. So it might take you a long time to find it, and that's what I'm gonna do here. I just want to record this first part of the video, just uh, me just showing like maybe I can get randomly right here by any chance. I don't know. It's just like, I, exp I just want to explain all that again. How it's like really rare as a dropped item to, to obtain and everything. So it's gonna take me. I saw, I heard, I saw that Chuck uh, his, during his let's play, it took like 104 times. Yeah, they had defeat 104 Starman Supers to get it. And it took like six and a half hours, apparently. So hopefully, I'm hoping it takes me less time than that, but I'm still dedicated to get this item, so I'm gonna try my best and get it still. Because I think it's really helpful, it's, it'll help up Pooh a lot. So, that's all good. And then we can take out this Starman Jr., hopefully, or Starman, not Starman Jr. Anyway, it's gonna take another turn, actually. But I just want to explain how it gets a really rare drop, and it's going to take you a while to get it, honestly. And hopefully I can just try to find it. Uh, like, maybe in the next two hours or something, I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah, the Nessus friends getting 13,386 uh, 13, experience each. Proves level 51. Oh, baby, offensive by 4. Oh, baby, defense 1 by 3. Speed 1 by 1. Vitality 1 by 1. Luck 1 by 1. Maximum HP 1 by 2. Proof of the power of Shield Omega. I think it's Omega, yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna just try my luck here and see if I can find it. Uh, I'll cut back to where I actually find it. So hopefully I find it relatively soon. I'm hoping by against a rare drop, less than one percent chance of dropping the item. But it will. Be, I think it'll be worth it in the long run, honestly. So yeah. So I'll see you guys back when I get it and find it finally. Okay. So I'm back. Honestly, to get the Sword of Kings, I was really lucky. It took me like less than two hours, honestly. I think I killed, if I were to guess, I didn't keep count, but I think I maybe defeated like 50 to 60, uh, Super, Starman Supers. And I want to also show a couple things I got off screen too. Um, it's all in Pooh's inventory. Here's the Sword of Kings. Let's, uh, his, it's in his inventory so I can equip it, but I also got, I got, um, Four Horn of Life from Saturn Village, I used PSI Teleport Beta from uh, Pooh to um, go to Saturn Village and get four of these. I think they were $1,780 each. I know it's one 1700 something for sure, but I'll put the exact price on screen right now. And I just because I ran out of a couple of life noodles and stuff, you know, I don't have any of those. As you can see in Jeff's inventory, I don't have any. Paula's inventory, I don't have any. And then in Ness's inventory, I, I don't have any. I got a another PSI Karma on the way back from uh, getting here, so that's pretty cool. Because I used the X and at least twice. And uh, yeah, I got the PSI Karma Super Bomb, I also got the drop on that, and then uh, yeah, I also got the Brain Fruit Lunch too, one of them. Which was pretty cool actually. But also, my status. Ness is in the level 75, Paul is in the level 70, uh, Jeff is in the level 68, and then Pooh is also level 66, so we got quite a bit of level folks. I don't recommend you, like, grind too hard, because I think there's a point where you don't want to be level 99, as a certain part of the game, and you the end, probably. So I just want to, yeah, because I remember Tricky Cowman, his nest, his nest was at level 77 by the end of this, mine's at level 75. So, like, two, two, two levels under, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, I also learned 
that's also where in the life of uh, Omega, which is pretty cool. It's like a guaranteed, um, if someone collapses, it's a guaranteed, like, um, move where, um, it automatically revives them, which is nice. But it's double the PP of, um, Gamma, I think. So, well, not quite, but somewhat close. And then I think who may have learned it, too. Let me check real quick. Recover. Oh, no, you didn't, you didn't learn it yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to equip this uh, Sword of um, Kings before I forget, actually. So, let's do that. Equip. Um, go to Poos. Equip menu. Weapon, nothing. But now it's Sword of Kings. This offense goes from 139 to 169. So, it's a 30%. It's a 30 point boost uh, of offense. <laughs> so, it's awesome. Very worth picking up because, like, you know, you'll need a. I think you use it in the final battle to defeat the final boss or whatever. At least that's what I heard, so. Yeah, it's good to have it. I mean, it only took me less than two hours. I was really happy. I was able to get in the same day, and I'm still recording the first part of this uh, video. Uh, I recorded the first part of this video, like, about maybe two hours ago. And then two hours later, I got... I'm recording the second part of this part of this video. For this part. So it's pretty cool. Okay, um... Yeah, like, my PP and HP for everyone is also really good, too. I made sure that was taken care of. PSI Rock and Bait, I guess. Uh, PSI Fire Beta. Uh, Shoot. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, Pooh can, uh, I guess, bash with his new King of Swords. Let's use that B1, I guess. Attack the B1. So, yeah. Well, we're in good shape right now. Maybe this will knock it out. Nope, of course not. Ah. Tried something but failed. Okay. Bash, bash, and shoot. Ash. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Because I think it's, yeah, it's to the point where they're totally scrapped. Yeah. Cool. SNS one's getting 12,804 experience each. Nice. Here's a item here. Open the present. There's a broken trump inside. Paul takes it. Yeah, we're going to give that to Jeff when he flips some inventory. So, yeah. But right now he has like one spot in his inventory, so it's not really. Final battle, you. Okay, one of them. Okay, so bash, PSI, fire, beta, um, shoot, and bash. I got Pooh goes first. He's super fast, I guess. He's even faster than Paula in that case. It's totally scrapped. Okay, cool. We won. Nest and his friends gained 6,402 experience each. Nice. Something over here. Nope, okay, nope, it's a dead end. Okay. I don't think you can fall off these. No, you can't fall off these because I'm trying to like purposely fall, but you can't fall off them. That's good. <laughs> it's not like a platformer, guys. It's an RPG. <laughs> okay, so here's another one of those. Bash. PSI fire out beta, I guess. Again, same thing as last time. We'll shoot and bash. So yeah, hopefully we can defeat this enemy before Ness has his turn to attack. Just like last time. Okay, no, Ness had the attack this time. Okay. But it's totally scrapped in the end. Haha. -ha. That's nice. Okay. Let's see here. Here's an item. Oh, shoot. That counts as a back attack. I thought I made that. I, um, I, got, caught, I got caught in a corner because I thought there was a walk away there. Ah, oh, man. Okay, max out your HP. Cool. PSI. Fire, beta, shoot, and bash. Let's do this. Seven, okay, fine. We'll have to use a PSI freeze then or something. Ah, oh, it's HP maxed out again, of course. Bash, PSI freeze, beta, I guess. Let's try hoping for that. Shoot and bash. Hopefully PSI freeze beta will do some more than what PSI freeze, PSI fire beta did. It looks like it did do more, so it's good. Ah, mash the A button. And sometimes it only explodes on a couple enemies, like right there, I think it only attacked, it only affected Jeff and Pooh. But yeah, always deal with those things the last, especially uh, when I was doing like trying to find the Sword of Kings. I had I did that, and I just made sure I faint, I fainted them last. Okay, here's another nice Starman Super. So bash, I think we can just bash, bash, shoot, and bash honestly, because that's what I've been doing when I was you know my certain rhythm, because it automatically defeats them after four hits. So that's nice. Nessa's friends gain seven thousand five hundred thirty-seven experience each. Nice. 
Okay, let's see. Here's a um, pixie bracelet, I think. Yeah, pixie bracelet. Paul takes it. Now we're gonna give that to Jeff because it raises up his defense actually, and it's it's actually better than the diamond pendant, di diamond bracelet, I guess. So let's see. Paul's inventory, pixie bracelet. I'm not not use. Dang it! I didn't mean to use. use. And it gives me a description to say, hey, you should equip this, not use it. Gets used. Paul Jeff has one space in his inventory, and then equipped. Go to Jeff's menu. Yeah, diamond band. It's like, it's like ten more than the. Oh yeah. Well, okay, yeah, it has, it has ten more defense than the diamond band. So yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find my way out of here. I think it's this way. What's up there, though? Is there anything up there worth getting? Oh, yeah, there's one more item. Let's try to see if we, what it is. It does open the present. There's a speed capsule inside. Paul takes it. Um, I want to give that to Pooh, actually, now that I think about it. Speed capsule. Use on Pooh. Yeah, Pooh. I'll use speed capsule. Pooh drink it. Yeah, it's free one up by one. Cool. Nice. I'll take it. Let's just quick and make it to the door so like we don't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> that rhymed. Oh look, everyone, hey look, it's Tony and it's Mr. T and it's Apple Kid and all of them. Oh no, burp, burp, I can't see anything. Burp, go, Jeff, burp, where is Jeff? Slip. <laughs> I made that slip instead of blip. Uh, can't last much longer. Can't last much, okay, you said the same thing, I think. Almost that's the same character I was aiming towards. Go, go, can't breathe. And then there's Dr. Ando and it's on the top right there. So let's see who, let's just barge into the next room saying, Hey, put a stop to this, let my friends go. Oh look, it's a Starman, but this isn't just any Starman. I think it's the Deluxe Starman, DX Starman. Let's talk to him, confront him for his evil doing. You're, you're much stronger than we, than our intelligence indicated. We were not be prepared for that, uh, event, uh, I misspelled. I misread that word. Now it's gone. The prophecy from the click apple of enlight enlightenment enlightenment may be true, but you're not underestimate. But you must not underestimate us. Okay, we have to battle him. Like there's an easy way to defeat him with a multi bottle rocket, and then there's like a you can use your PSI attacks, I guess, which is the other way. So um, I want to use PSI rock and bait, I guess. Paul can use PSI Fire Beta. Uh, Jeff can use a multi bottle rocket, actually. Let's just do that. Let's start mine deluxe, okay? And then Pooh can bash. There we go. Okay, I forgot that he has a PSI shield. Crap. Well, oh my bad. But the Starman was defeated nonetheless. Starman Deluxe, I should say. A deluxe Cheeseburger. <laughs> Ness and his friends gained 40,131 experience each. Paul is on the level 71. Offense 1 by 1. Guts 1 by 1. IQ 1 by 1. Luck 1 by 1. Maximum HP 1 by 3. Maximum PP 1 by 5. Jeff's level is on the level 69. It's now 69. Maximum HP 1 by 3. Pooh's level is on the level 67. Offense 1 by 1. Defense 1 by 2. Speed 1 by 1. Maximum HP 1 by 1. Maximum PP 1 by 1. So everyone except for Ness, I believe, will we'll load up in that battle, after that battle. Oh, what did we do? Ah, we made the place go shaky shaky. When you, when did you defeat the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base seized functioning. That's good for us if it means like freeing all those people. Let's see if we freed all those people. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Oh, we did. Nice. So yeah, but I'm going to end the part right here. So this thing that my Earthbound wants to pick part. Next part we'll take on, we'll reunite with all our friends here. See what's going on and hopefully move on to the next place if we can. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys next time on my Earthbound. Let's play.